Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Last time, we ban we continued to explore the castle of Uruk and continued to go throughout this challenge. And actually, I have went and looked up... Okay, so we need to go get electricity into that room over there. I looked up how to do this, okay guys, because I don't think I would have found this out otherwise. And it was just one of those stupid things that I didn't notice at all. In the fire room, there are beams that you can jump and hold on to. I mean, I saw the beams. I didn't know you could hold on to them. I mean, I feel bad that I had to kind of go and look it up. But, like, I would have been stuck there for a bit. And I don't want to waste your guys' time with weird, boring episodes. See? Look. Beams. We can jump on these. Jump on them. Jump on them. Jump on it. Why aren't you... Oh, jeez, man. You're me off. Oh. I'll just, uh, edit that cuss word out, sir. Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh my goodness! Ah, can't grab the beams! I haven't gotten enough practice yet with the beam grabbing. I'm not intense enough to grab it. Yeah, I'm just a You know what? I'm too cool for those beams. Even though I need them, I don't need them. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah, we gotta... Just grab those beams. It, I gotta get the camera to work with me here. Okay, so the beams are like above here. Jump and grab you. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Are you kidding me? It won't set the trap on. Oh, are you joking me? It didn't set the trap on. It just let me walk into the room and I'm raging. Stop now while you can. I'm trying to have fun, guys, but this game makes me mad so many times. I love this game, but it makes me frustrated often. I mean, I truly do love this game, but I wish I could get to some, like, I... T there's some parts that frustrate me. These mummy parts are probably one of the, one of the top reasons that frustrate me in this game. It's really tricky sometimes, and they're kind of long and tedious. They're fun like the first way through, but they're they're like tough after a while. <laughs> Man, they're tough. Okay, we got that. That's good. And now we can move that. Now I actually know how to do this. Okay, awesome. Done raging because I can actually complete this area now, which is good. Now come on, stony rock thing. We're just going to take you and I'm going to put you in between here. And I should be able to jump across with this. I'll give it the test run poop. Okay, let's see. Let's test that again. That was a poor test run. Test number two. Okay, I can do it. Nice. So I'm going to have to go get myself set on fire twice, I think. And uh, I keep seeing this box for Onyx Scarabs I should go get. It's been driving me crazy. Okay, on fire. Lift me up. Here we go. Into here. going to go just get some Onyx Scarabs. Get a couple. Thank you. 90 onyx scarabs. That's a nice, decent amount. That's a decent, nice amount. A nice, decent, decent, nice. And, um, it doesn't really matter that we're still on fire. We kind of need to push this over here as well. And turn this off. Not turn this off. We need to, uh... Oh, what's it called? We need to get that one set on fire. So it will fall down. That's what I wanted to say. And then I think we'll be able to get the third glyph. Okay, see, pu puzzle solving equals good. When you can solve puzzles, it equals good. <laughs> now, let's get some good equal in. <laughs> Jump in, and we're going to set this on fire. I am done with that. Oh yeah, booyah. Okay, so we're going to climb up here, and we're going to take a leisurely little ride on the other uh, thing. Not the thing. What is it called? The handle. The the uh, the a really exciting ride on this wooden handle. There we go. And I think I'm gonna need a drop off before the uh, the cascading waterfalls hit me. They look like they'd push me to my doom. So uh, yeah, this looks like a back passage that will take me. Uh, yeah, it'll take me behind there. That's handy. Handy that they put that there. Now I can just come over here and wait for the. Uh, the handle to come through. Nice. Hope it doesn't push me off the ledge like it like they uh, they did one time. 
Oh, jeez, it almost did. It thought it was being funny. <laughs> Don't be funny, Handel. I have to make it to the cliff. And my face itches. Better scratch it. There we go. Now it's not as itchy. <laughs> Man. Cascading waterfalls. Really pretty. And here we go. On our way to the third glyph. We're gonna... I needed to be set on... Fire! Ugh! Darn it. Darn it! I thought I was done. Oh my goodness. Waste of time. Waste of time much? I totally did not know there were wood planks there. The game just troll faced me. <laughs> I was a total big troll face. <laughs> uh -huh. This game. I love this game. This game drives me nuts. I'm cashews, walnuts, pecans, hazelnuts. You know, then you take your nutcracker, you're all like, kablam, get me a hazelnut into my face. I prefer walnuts, though. Walnuts are my favorite kind of nuts. I enjoy walnuts. That's one of my favorite parts about Christmas. I, I, we pick up a bunch of just walnuts and many kinds of, many kinds of legumes, and we eat them. I'm not even sure if walnuts are legumes, but legume is a fun word to say. <laughs> I'm pretty sure beans are legumes. <laughs> so I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Hey, I just like walnuts. Hey, I, I just like walnuts. Don't hate. Darn it! Ah, oh, man, I get to wait for that one over there just nonchalantly. You know what? It's gonna breeze over here. Yeah, you know what? Take your time. Not like I have a little timer that's running down. Let's, uh, yeah, thanks. Hope I make it over in time. Okay. Oh, it's gonna cut it close. Now, okay, get me over there. There we go. Wow, that was really close. Sorry for raging there, but that was ridiculous. Found a glyph key. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> Do our little dance on the way out. And oh no, we're gonna get fire. We're gonna get flamed again. There we go. Now, finally, we have all of the cliff keys. Let us go put them in their respective places and get some treasure. Booyah! I've been looking forward to find some glyph keys. There we go. That is one down. This should be the second one. And here comes the third one. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, I just noticed that the layers of beams and energy have been going down. That's cool. And I kind of need to be in front of the treasure chest to open it. <laughs> what could it be? You found the medicine bag! Hey. Oh, let's saunter out out of there. Oh no, but we're tired. We need to take a nap. Back to the dungeons for the prince. Ah, poor princey. As much as I love the prince, he has to go back to the dungeons. He's been a bad boy. Just tromping around the palace. Palace grounds, that is. I mean, <laughs> crazy prince. Sorry I raged a lot on the, the mummy part. I rage. I tend to rage there. They're crazy. You got the items that the mummy collected in the castle of Uruk. Yes, I just find that area very challenging indeed. Thank you. You got the medicine bag. The specially lined bag will preserve any delicate med medicinal ingredients placed inside. You got the third stolen Abydos jewel, the curator said the Abydos Museum will be very pleased to see this. Lovely. And we got the 90 onyx scarabs. And did Mr. Oh, he oh okay, he's still here. Nice. Hello again, stranger. What's that you got there? Messing bag? Very interesting. Looks like you will have no trouble preserving the healing herbs that you need. Don't waste any more time talking to me. Get collecting those herbs for the mayor. Ah, uh, wonderful. We can now go on an herb hunt. And this guy's wanna see, gonna want to see my papers. Here we go. Everything seems to be okay. We can head on in here. This is a medicinal herb. A plant. 
And look, we can take one. See, we need five of these healing herbs. And since we have a medicine bag, we've successfully stored it. So now we can collect up we can collect up all of our healing medicinal items that we need. So that's very good. The uh the mayor will be alive and well very soon. Poopy. Just poopy. Oh boy. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna like I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go the safe way because I honestly don't wanna have I don't wanna die. Because I haven't saved yet. And <laughs> if I got a game over now, that would just make me go insane. <laughs> that would suck. So let's go save. It's a good time for saving. So let's just run on down here. I think we can get a, uh, yeah, another medicinal herb on the way too. This is the one I was talking about. That's like one of the only ones that I know how to get, <laughs> or that I that I knew the location of. And let's grab ourselves a red scarab. Not that it matters because we've actually reached our maximum in the scarabs we can carry. With our wallet that we have now, we can only carry up to 400 scarabs. That's not good. We need to somehow find a larger wallet. And uh, we will be finding one later on in the game because of a particular mission. But right now, that will not be happening. We need to, right now, our main concern is herbs. We are a medicine getter. That was a bad description of a job name. <laughs> we are a medicine retriever. We will, we shall retrieve medicine for the mayor who needs it. I kind of don't want him to die. I mean, he's the mayor of Abydos. If he dies, well, then probably one of his probably some crazy person will just come in and take the crown. You know, Horus would probably come and try and take that opportunity, just because he's Horus and he's the biggest jerkwad on planet on planet Abydos. Pretty sure it's on planet Earth, because this takes place in Egypt, self. Duh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, let's head back into the Montu's monster shop. We can, uh, I think since we have, like, our maximum in scarabs, I think we should go, gr like, Grab a new monster. Grab one that we haven't gotten yet. Let's see, what's back here? We've, uh, let's see, what, have our, what are our choices? We got the small frog already. Have we gotten the shell critter? I think, no, we haven't gotten the shell critter. It costs 360. I'm trying to find one that costs 400 if there is one. How much does the featherless turkey? 700. Can't get that. No, I can't get the shuttlecock bird. And the mummy bird is 300. Um... I'm just going to finish off this wall, and I'll get the Shell Critter. Sh shell Critters cost 360 scarabs each. Would you like to buy one? Of course I would. I just said I'd like to buy one. There we go. Awesome. We got a Shell Critter for the museum. Now there are only three more things in Montu's Monster Shop they can really offer us. Sadly, we can only buy one of them. The Shell Cockbird and the Featherless Turkey are kind of out of our, uh, our buying range. Because there are no banks in this game, we have to somehow find a larger wallet to carry 900 scarabs with us. That is for the shuttlecock bird. It's only 700 for the featherless turkey, which is pretty much my favorite, uh, my favorite monster. Well, the shuttlecock bird's my favorite, but the shuttlecock, the shuttlecock turkey, no, the featherless turkey is the one I get, I probably get the most laughs out of the featherless turkey. It's pretty awesome. Who wouldn't want a featherless turkey? I mean, come on. It's pretty cool. All the cool kids want one. <laughs> I don't know. It's good for a laugh. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. It's good for a laugh. Um, I need to... You know what I need to do? I need to somehow grab onto this. This swinging thing. Let's see. Can I get it? No. Whoa. Hey there. How do I get that? Whoa, okay, I can't grab onto that. That's questionable. I've been saying questionable a lot. I said that in my Spyro Let's Play. Questionable, questionable, questionable. Everything's a question in the world of Oswald. It's all... We are very... I believe the word is interrogative. I'm probably wrong with that. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's interrogative or something else. I don't necessarily know. <laughs> it's not necessarily very prevalent in my mind. I'll probably look it up in the end and then put put a link, not the not a link, a uh, a message at the bottom of the screen saying why I am wrong. <laughs> Slash right, of course. Okay, that is the last time I drown in this episode. I am ending the episode. So guys, in the next episode of Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, we will go seek out the rest of the medicinal herbs. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.